Hey guys, this is John, and I'm playing Sauerkraut in the five minute pool on ICC. Let's open with d4 against Sauerkraut. This is Grandmaster Slavko Chichak, and I much more often encounter him in the bullet pool than the three or five minute pools. So this should be kind of interesting. Okay, knight c6 is a move I've faced before, and I'll play this against it. Yeah, and then this e5 idea. I'm actually gonna I'm gonna take on e5. This is somewhat unusual, but I think it's playable. So I had a game previously over the board where I played d5 instead of capturing on e5, and I didn't get that good of a position. So I'll do this and play for almost some Roxy Bind type situation where I can hopefully control d5 really well. My bishops will go to e2 and e3, and I'll castle short is the plan. So let's play bishop e2. My knight on f4 is mildly annoying for him. Usually this knight would be on d4, but there are some advantages to having it here instead. It's just castle. Okay, so he's going to put his knight there. That's interesting. Maybe queen b3, because if I play b3, this knight is left undefended, so he would have knight e takes c4. So let's go queen b3 in order to defend. a5, probably trying to go a4 and inconvenience me. Debating between a3 and a4 right now. Neither one is that appealing. I might do this, so that after a4 I can play queen here. Back to c2 where it still defends this pawn. A little bit worried about a3 though. He could try this. And then I'd be hesitant to play b3 again because uh, of problems on the diagonal. So his bishop will, will be bearing down on my uh, rook on a1. Yeah, I'm finding myself having to retreat now. I don't really want to take on b6 because then he would get his queen here. Hmm. Okay, we'll play rook d1. He may not take right away on b2. I do have an idea of playing c5 with my rook x-raying his queen along the d-file. Plays queen c7 to avoid that. He can kind of hold my b-pawn hostage for a little bit. I don't really want to play rook b1 because he takes on b2. So what am I to do in this position? I have to get out of the bind. Knight d3 is an option. c5, maybe. But c5, he can trade and then take on b2, bishop takes, and maybe knight takes f3. So that's no good. It may be necessary to play rook b1. Rook b1, he takes, I take it to my rook. Yeah, knight a4 might be possible then, though. Hmm. This is not a fun position at all. Okay, I'm just going to try to trade some stuff in a bid to relieve the pressure. My knight wasn't doing a whole heck of a lot on f4 anymore. Let's pre-move this. I guess castling on move 10 was the culprit because I was on my back foot since that point. Maybe I should have played... I don't know, we'll go back and look at it, but something directed against defensive c4, prophylaxis against knight b6. Okay, so he's doing this. So if I play b3, he's going to hop into c3. This is idea. Hmm. Okay, let's take, takes to the bishop. I think I'm going to sack something now. I think g4 doesn't really do a, do much. Okay, we're going to do this. And then once he takes on b2, I'm going to take with my bishop. I guess I could play pawn takes and then maybe bishop d2, but that pawn on b2 is really, really strong. So I'd almost rather sack the exchange in a bid for some freedom. This is looking very, very bad, though. 
Okay, so he takes up this knight. Hmm. All right, I'm going to take we're sacking exchange. His bishop is so good, I mean, he might consider not even taking it. Like, maybe just queen a5 in this position. He does take it. Now queen a5. I guess at least now I can... Um, if I take on d6, he has queen c5, but... Maybe I can drum up something. Probably not with rook a3 coming. Let's see. Queen... D4, we trade. He takes A2, I take D6. Yeah, not working. Let's go for a trade. See what happens. I'd love to get my knight to G4 somehow without his bishop being able to capture it. It's going to take a lot of magic being worked in this position. Just b6 is good enough right now. Then he can develop his bishop. He chooses a more aggressive move. Okay, let's play g3. So if he takes, I take up my bishop. He may go f4. Hmm queen into f6. Does that help us at all? No, but it looks mildly threatening. <laughs> Gotta take what we can get. Queen e5 probably just deals with any threats I have with this move, though. Yeah, queen e5 is a good defense. Hmm, bishop f5. Opting for a more tactical solution. Yeah, that's also good. I am busted here. Let's try this move. Bishop takes, pawn takes. If rook takes, maybe I have some checks. Remains to be seen. Again, queen e5 I think is good. If queen e5, um, I would have to trade queens because otherwise he wins e4, which should win trivially. Check. Got a few checks, but that's about Check. It. Yeah, and now he's winning e3, so I'll just resign. Okay, yeah, I think uh, move 10 was where the trouble started. I castled, but I really should have paid more heed to the threat of knight b6. I think that was a problem. Okay, we'll take a look, though. This is an, an interesting anti-Samish uh, line. I've ran into this before, knight c6, trying to forego the d6 move. Um, so after knight c6, knight g e2, e5, if I go d5, they're going to put the knight on the rim, actually. So here to attack c4. And after knight g3, they can play b6, whereupon their knight will always have a retreat square. This is playable for black. So I took and then played knight f4, which is probably reasonable. I could play knight d4 too if I want, but d6, bishop e2. Okay, so right here, how to deal with this incoming knight b6 move. If I go here and then knight b6, I have the same issue. If I ever played b3, I just Check. hit with this move with a discovered attack on the, on the knight. So what about bishop e3 here and now queen b3? That way if a5, I can perhaps take on b6. My bishop's already on this square compared to the game where it wasn't. This might be the way to go. And then he has weak pawns. That compensates for the missing dark square bishop. Let's have a look and see what the engine thinks. Hmm. Doesn't think castles is that bad, but yeah, bishop e3 is the stronger move. That's a more sophisticated measure. So, castles, knight b6, queen b3, a5. And he, he definitely got the initiative. a5 is a very good move. Because I was hesitant to play both a4 and a3. a4 severely weakens the b4 square. So I thought he would start angling for that, like maybe even knight c6. I considered like trying to work into one of these two. 
Um, a3, I didn't like the fact that he can play a4 and I have to go back to a2 with my queen. And it's stuck guarding a uh, guarding c4 and it's out of play on a2. Um, and again, I have some weak squares, like maybe this knight c6 move once again, trying to get into d4. So I think the engine's evaluation of castles is a little flawed. I bet if you give it longer, think that will go down. Because it just doesn't look like I have that good of a position after knight b6. I definitely don't think I'm better. So, yeah, I mean, it starts to go down a little bit. So in retrospect, I would definitely play knight, uh, bishop e3. Looks like strong play by him after this. Queen c2, c6. And if I if I capture, he takes Check. the queen. This is already very juicy for him. I have development problems. I'm weak on my dark squares. A3 is on the horizon. So hence I played this um, sort of awkward move, knight e3. Now a3. Yeah, and I can't ever really do this because Check. knight takes f3 and bishop takes a1. That's my big problem in this position. The engine says bite the bullet and play rook b1. The move I didn't want to have to play. And then after take, take with the rook to guard a2. Okay. Yeah, and I was looking at stuff like this, and if I go back here, knight c3 is already crushing. Queen takes, knight takes check. three check, winning the queen. So instead I played rook d1, but yeah, I agree with the, what the computer is saying. Here, knight a4, rook b3, even though it allows knight c5. Try to somehow defend this position, but he is clearly better. His structure is uh, excellent, and his knights are well-placed. And I have bad dark square control. Hmm. Knight d3 was weak, too. I should play queen b3. Knight a4 was a strong response. It looks to me like pretty straightforward play by him. I was surprised that he took with the knight on b2. I thought pawn takes was straightforward. But knight takes didn't change much. I guess I should move my rook, but I had made a decision to sacrifice the exchange on b2. So we have all these exchanges, and then queen a5, and with the better structure and a pure extra exchange, He'll just be looking to simplify, um, attack my weak pawns on the queen side. I think he played it a little more energetically than I would have if I were black, but there was absolutely nothing wrong with his play. Yeah, the f5 move was good. I was thinking pawn b6 was an easy move just to enable bishop e6, but he saw no reason to delay, and I think he's correct in uh, playing this move. So f5, threatening f4. So I played g3 to discourage that, and he takes, bishop takes. Yeah, rook e8, this is a pseudo-active move. There's many ways. If he was really concerned about queen f6, he could play queen e5. And I'm practically compelled to exchange, because if I try to do this, queen Check. e2, and yeah, I'm getting annihilated. So bishop f5, and that was pretty much it. Check. I have a spite check. Check. Or two. <laughs> and this resigns time. So, yeah, this is actually a pretty good weapon from the black side. Not that many people know about it. Knight c6, trying to do away with the d6 move. And if you suspect your opponent might play Samish, it's not a bad option. I don't think there's any real downside to playing castles on move number four. It's just that most King's Indian players play d6, but it's been shown that castles and then e5 for white, which you would think would be uh, the punishment for not having played d6, it's been shown to be... Uh, totally fine for black to enter this position because they're going to undermine white's pawn center. So very good game, Mr. Chichek, and hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll be back tomorrow with another Blitz game. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.